With a yo ho ho, it's Taylor the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 to Firestorm. This time, we really are going to the TV studio. I'm sorry we made it out like we'd be going there last episode and then we just didn't really do anything in the end, but there's, there, I just, there were so many extra composition routes and hopefully, now that we've got Phil Noir and Harry Snake on the team, they'll prove their worth and that episode will go down in history as the episode where I first recruited them and they'll score loads of goals throughout the project. Maybe. Meanwhile, Coach Lena didn't come with us for some reason. Because she's got something to do. And Mark seems to think he can just waltz into the TV studio. You know, I, I walked up to TV studios in the past, and as it happens, they're quite enclosed. I still managed to see Craig Charles in the pub <laughs> when he was having his dinner, but I couldn't actually get into the TV studio. The whole reason I was there was to go see Celebrity Benchmark on Channel 4, hosted by Paddy McGuinness, but while I was there I had a walk around the Corrie set location. Obviously couldn't go inside. I have been on the Coronation Street set though, the old one. But that's not relevant. Lena didn't come with us, so we need to go get her. Oh, before I've got to talk to these two. This guy might seem a little familiar. It's Manny Arctic, the co the coach of the Otaku team from the original game. One of his maids at the maid cafe has gone on to become a TV star, and he wants to go see her, but he can't because you know it's a TV station and he's not allowed in either. What are you doing back so soon? Didn't you have some business with Alias to take care of? Um, yeah, about that. Well, they won't let us in, you see. Hmm, are you totally incapable of thinking for yourselves? Hey! So they won't let you pass because you're kids. How is having me there going to help yet solve anything? In fact, it'll just make you look even more like a bunch of kids. She's got a point. We understand, but I still think giving it a try is our best option. Well, you'd better think again, hadn't you? I may be your coach, but I don't want to help you whatsoever. Now, let me ask you a question. What exactly is the point of this journey? We're on a hunt for the best players out there. Exactly. And I'm sure that here in Nara, there must be a player who ranks among the best. There's bound to be a local legend, a player everyone knows. Oh boy, are we finally going to get the first story relevant new team member that we're going on a trip across Japan to find so that we can build the ultimate team for the sakes of defeating aliens? Well, we better refer to the connection map and get this first person. Yes, in the last episode I showed off the extra competition route and Hillman's recruitment system. Before we can get into the main beef of the content here, we have to use... The, yeah, the, they're talking about stuff we just used. <laughs> we need to... Oh god, they're giving us a recap! Yes, Mr. Veteran does extra competition route matches. Both rematches against the story relevant players and places like a cult and wild. There's Hillman's machine, and on the right is the machine that we actually need to use to progress the story. Can we get on with it now? I recruited so many new players in the last episode, but now it's finally time for someone important. It's Eugene Conwell. I can't look at his bio yet, but I gotta spend some friendship points and he's near some steps in Nara that should sound vaguely familiar that's exactly where the player called Harry Snake was no it wasn't him no it was the random recruit I remember now the guy who's already gone forgotten oh no is he here? he's, he's yeah there he is Wow, he's in this random encounter. 
This is, I'm going to beat Eugene Conwell right now and it doesn't even count. And I'm literally a few steps away from him in the overworld. Like, you saw that, right? He was there. Uh, let's score this goal and then let's beat the exact same team again because I just happened to get them as a random encounter. I should have really taken the chance to score with Harry Snake or Phil Noir seeing as they're the new guys, but you know, I guess I'll do them in this actual match. Sorry, am I the best football player in Nara? Uh, I suppose you could say that. Who told you though? What do you want anyway? Oh, you want me to join you? Yes. Oh, okay. I'll try not to let you down. Never mind, we don't have to play him after all. Well, I hope this character gets loads of character development and we get loads of story cutscenes based on the absolutely required recruit, Eugene Conwell. Indeed, that does start off the connection map, which allows you to get absolutely loads of random players from just all over the place, um, TV studio, with some of them having particularly funny bios, but there's absolutely no reward for completing the connection map, so I've never done it, especially because you can only have 100 players at a time, and I... You know, that, that limit's quite hard to... that quite easy to reach when you're getting all the players from Wild Occult, etc. The living legend, the one and only, the most famous footballer in Nara! It's this guy! Eugene Com we must be something really special. Yeah, I mean, we won a national tournament on television, but that doesn't make us respected footballers. But if we've got Eugene Conwell, that makes all the difference, and they genuinely let us in as a result. Axel's still having problems of some variety, and now he's faded away because he wasn't in my party. Tori's on the roof! Save her! I think they're exaggerating the danger she might be in at the moment. The two players... God, I was worried that they'd let Manny Arctic in there for a moment. What's in the box? What's in the box? Battlebots Season 2 reused that joke, so I'm allowed to reuse it as well. There is that, that, that quote comes from the movie 7, which I've never seen, but regardless, it still sits on my windowsill, because... I don't know why, but Amy owns a copy of the DVD and I don't have the heart to put it under the bed because I think she likes it. But she's already spoiled the whole story, so now there's no point in watching it. I hope you lot like Seven on my behalf. But uh, yes, aliens at the TV studio, oh no, what are we going to do? Yes, we better head to the roof. Famous all across the galaxy. I wonder if the galaxy will become important in Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy, the game. Have I got full health? No, I might as well use a heal. Let's just take a lift straight up to the top floor. We don't get to see and No, the treasure chest! Come on, go back! It's a shame we don't get to see any actual TV studio sets, but never mind. No, it's time to... Crash the last of you beauty worms! How dare you! Uh, Miss Victoria, you have to run. You're still just a child. You can't let them. That's enough, Smith. I'm the captain of this team. I can't just abandon you. I'll fight with you till the end. Yeah! Stop right there, Janus! Well, well, if it isn't the feisty little earthling from the Thor. Look, you came. Tori, are you all right? I'm fine, but the Secret Service have been battered black and blue. Oh, it hurts. Agent Smith, this is terrible. <laughs> That's what happens when you bite off more than you can chew. The games have only just begun! 
You earthlings have yet to grasp the true extent of our power. And off we go, what do you mean, games? Who do you think you are? Aliens? We'll take you on. We're doing this for Steve, Tim, and everyone else you put in the hospital. We refuse to move! Understand? Huh, <laughs> did you hear that? They refuse to lose. You really think you stand a chance, don't you? Very well. We accept your challenge. But this time we'll finish you off for good. Ah, let me play with you. The Secret Service gave their all to protect me. I went to make sure their sacrifice wasn't for nothing. So, indeed. Eugene Conwell was not the story player, obviously. <laughs> it's Tori. Jack has to question the fact that we should allow a girl onto the team, but Mark's right, there's no tournament, so there's no legit reason why we shouldn't have girls on the team, which is a remarkable improvement from the last game. You can actually have female players now. It sounds like something that should have been there from the beginning, but we've got it now. Oh no, I have to take someone out of the team. Well, it's obviously going to be Willie, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's play the match. Get your stylus ready, way ahead of you, mate. We don't get to see any sets, but at least there's lots of TV aerials. I wonder what they actually use this football pitch for. Do they genuinely film games up here? Me and the Rhyme and Eleven are going to thrash you and rescue my dad! I believe you have an earthling saying, A big fish in a small pond. I'm afraid you are way out of your depth. Team, you're up against an opponent who's already beaten you once. Show me that you can do better! All right, yeah, Ugh, I'm still feeling miserable for no explained reason. Yes, this time we're going to have a rematch with Gemini Storm, and hopefully this time it won't be a forced loss, and we're going to kick their asses. Let's have a look at the formation. Um, I, I'll move Kevin a bit further forward, and Tori is a defender, but I'll still move her a bit further up anyway, just simply because she's... You know, we just got her. She's important-ish. So let's give her some chance to shine. Eugene Conwell, I don't know whether we were meant to think he was some kind of big deal, but no, he exists just to let you into the station because he's such a big deal, he'll never be important again. So, making my way towards the goal... Nah, oh, 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 Jude, why?! Are you going to kick it in? Ah, oh, goalie got it. Thought I was going to automatically headbutt it into the goal then. That would have been awesome. But no, looks like I've missed my opportunity altogether. Kick it away from Janus. He's the captain. But, um, yeah, wow. That was, that was awful. <laughs> what did I think I was doing there? But yeah, so, for, I, I forgot to check if I actually had Phil Noir and Harry Snake on the pitch. Let's make a substitution. Uh, yeah, because I've got them off at the moment. I even went to the, the trouble of actually teaching them a move. So let's put Harry Snake there. And, um... Uh, Phil Noir there, I guess. I don't think he's going to get much spotlight there, but... Oh well, let's... No, I passed it to Coral. I can remember that guy's name off by heart because I recruited him and used him quite a lot in the after game of Firestorm previously. He's funny because he's got a blue face. Right, can I acquire the ball at all? Because I think it's finally time to show off the one remaining new feature that's been added to Inazuma 2 that I haven't talked about yet. I would really appreciate the chance. Yeah, we got the ball, yay! Um, well, okay, never mind. What I did just now, I pressed the S button. So that allows you to take a shot 
from anywhere on the field. Naturally, it's not very useful if you just do it like that. That wouldn't score from anywhere. <laughs> but there are some special moves in this game that take advantage of the S button. So, and I know that I gave one to Harry Snake, so if you could gain possession of the ball, that would have been great, but you didn't. So never mind. Oh, Nathan, you're a defender, but you don't have any defensive special moves. That would have been so handy right now. Oh, no! I can catch that, right? Not risking it, God hand. It was only a normal shot, but let's try and stop it. Or not, because, you know, they're aliens, and they're really strong. That was Janus's real voice. In case you forgot, I don't know what, why my Janus voice ended up just being the definition of inconsistency. But yes, I've passed it to Harry Snake and I hit the S button. Certain moves with an L next to the name, such as Comet Shot, can be used from anywhere on the field, allowing you to take long shots. Generally, by the time they make it to the goal, they've not got much power left and they can just be caught as if they were a regular shot. But sometimes they score and sometimes you can build up a shot chain, like if you've got a, a player in front of where the ball's gonna be, you can say, start off with a comet shot and then Axel can continue the shot with another fire tornado. And so it's just good for clearing the ball as well if you're way in the other half of the pitch. Like here, for example, if Nathan had a special move and got hold of the ball, he could have just sent the ball. I've used the wrong special move by accident. Whoops. Could have sent the ball straight to the other end. So it's definitely got its uses. And if you can level up a player so much, then it should be able to reliably score eventually. So it's pretty useful. I think I'm going to hold on to the ball for the rest of this half. Damage limitation. Don't want them shooting anymore. And I've passed it straight to Janus. Please stop. I just want the first half to end before it goes any worse. Because I'm losing. That's bad. Half time. Phew, right. God, oh, this isn't looking good. Everyone pass to Axel. Because he's our best player and that's our only chance of victory. And this game makes no effort to hide it. Axel OP, please nerf. Except Axel was ways away from where the ball was going to be. Never mind you. To oh! Who commits a foul against an alien? What kind of biased referee is this? Don't you want us to save the world? Does it matter if I give them a scrape on the knee? I don't seem to think it does. And oh dear, I can't afford Marge in the hand anymore. I may need to fire up. <laughs> But then the evil music will be gone. That looked like it was going to miss the goal, to be honest. Yes, Mark, you are the best. But there's a lot of players, so I'm going to have to be really accurate to get it out of the way. Just keep passing. Okay, say Snake, why don't you use a Comet shot? That at least gets it over to where Galileo is stood. So even even if Comet Shot's not going to be scoring, it's still levelling it up, because to level up a shooting move, you don't actually need to score with it. You simply need to use it. With uh, tackling and dribbling moves, obviously they need to work for them to level up, because if they don't work, then you don't get to see them in the first place. Right, I'm firing up! Let's go all out! Let's get... A GOAL! Mark, Axel, Jude. I'm su I know Mark said I'm supposed to pass to Axel, but he's just kind of been on the wrong part of the field for doing that, so I've messed up. Yeah, the goalkeeper is still on point. We definitely need to get the ball to Axel, which I nearly did, but not quite. Oh, God, they're running away with it now. Hope I don't 
go full time without passing it to Axel, otherwise I think that would result in a game over. But come on, let's get to the goal. Heat tackle, that's a level up move for Axel which allows him to dribble very well. He learns it at a low level, but it's invaluable. You'll be using that for the entirety of the game. Yes, Axel, get it in! Ah! Ah! Top quality voice acting from Tail here. Hey, who are you? Axel Blaze, I presume? If you know what's good for you, understand? Ugh. What on earth? Well, let's go for a fire tornado anyway. Fire tornado one. You're about to smash up a building by the looks of things, Axel. A flaming ball headed for a skyscraper. Don't worry about it, the next one will go in. Yeah, sorry. How can Axel miss like that? Right. There's only one thing for it in a situation like this. Here we go. What'll it be this time? You're too slow to keep up with the aliens. That much is obvious. Hmm. What do you expect us to do about that? All defenders, switch places with the forwards. What? Switch places? Lena's got another weird idea. Now we're moving all the defenders up to striker position. This is growing dull, humans. We have no more time to waste dealing with you. Playtime is over, star footballers. What? You were holding back? I did think it were weird that they only got one goal on us, because they are still... Aliens from the planet, alias, with their overwhelming strength and such. 